waiting a very long time for this day. This is a great day for Tijuana, for San Diego, for our binational region. Let's give it up for reopening. The U.S.-Mexico border is back open for non-essential travel. Good afternoon and welcome to The Four. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. And I'm Marcella Lee and today for Heather Myers. It is a big milestone in the pandemic. For 19 months, our border has been closed to international travelers for non-essential purposes because of COVID-19 and nearby businesses have really suffered. Here's what the traffic looks like right now at the San Isidro border crossing with a live picture from Chopper 8. Non-U.S. citizens will be required to prove that they've been vaccinated when they cross. News 8's Kelly Hassadal joins us live from San Isidro with why so many say today is so very important. Kelly? Yeah, and this milestone means a lot to local leaders on both sides of the border. Economically, uh, it, this region has really suffered over the last 19 months. Now, if you take a look behind me right now, you can see uh, the traffic heading into Mexico at this hour. Uh, we really have watched things pick up quite a bit within the last 60 minutes or so. Now, we did hear from several local uh, leaders today, several speakers during a news conference, and one of the big messages was this is an important step toward things returning to normal. The border is very important to this binational economy that is back California and especially San Diego where where uh, so much of border goods and activity happens along this border. All our dreams and aspirations really bottleneck in this border crossing. And, and, during the pandemic. and that was State Senator Ben Hueso. Uh, he was joined by several other local leaders, including San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria, County Supervisor Nora Vargas, as well as the Tijuana Mayor and the Governor of Baja, California. Now, they all took part in celebrating the reopening. They talked about how families separated during the pandemic can now be reunited. They discussed the millions of dollars in revenue lost, and they're hoping things will turn around now that visitors can enter the United States as long as they've been vaccinated and can show proof of it. Officials say about 80% of people who live in this region are now vaccinated. Uh, today at around 11 a.m., we have a shot of what traffic looked like coming into the United States from Mexico, and it is, it is expected to get a lot heavier in the coming days, especially with the holidays around the corner. Now, Mayor Gloria says people should anticipate long wait times and they need to be patient. We caught up with him after the news conference. Here's what he said. The energy is so positive, and I think all of us could use that, right? It has been a long two years, and we're just looking for positive signs, the signs of forward progress, and this is one of those. It has been brought to us by vaccines. I think everyone who's gotten vaccinated and allowed us to achieve this positive day for our community. Let's have some more going forward. And another live look here from the border tonight. Now, I did talk to a family heading into San Diego from Mexico who told me they made it across in less than 10 minutes on the pedestrian bridge this morning. Uh, they told me, you know, that the only thing that was really different was they did have to show proof of vaccination, uh, but they told me they really didn't think it was a very big deal. Marcella and Carlo. Uh, Kelly, it does look like there are a lot of cars waiting there at the border. If San Diegans wish to travel down into Mexico, uh, something that most people haven't been able to do in 19 months, what should they really be aware of? Well, any non-U.S. citizen will have to be able to show proof of vaccination, and that's the big thing. And the wait time coming back into the United States is expected to be a lot longer. Uh, they are really advising people travel during non-peak travel times. And in case you don't know what that is, peak time travel times are Monday through Friday from 4 a.m. to 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. to midnight on weekends. Big day at the border, big day in the recovery from the pandemic. News 8's Kelly Hestall reporting live. Thanks, Kelly.